Hi guys, it's DIY Master, and here's a tutorial for you. So back, way back when, actually. <laughs> wow, not my old grandpa. Way back in 2013, Goat Sprout made a video called Untitled, and um, basically he was shooting slingshot and he shot it, and it ricocheted back at him and hit him in the head. And he basically was dying. But no, it was fake. 2015, he's still alive. He's good. Quote unquote, live and kicking is what he said in the making of Untitled. So, for that, he used MS Paint. I'm going to use Adobe After Effects, which is really easy to do in this program. So, let's watch this video and see what he does. Ooh, and then he dies. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> First, we're going to take our video and put it here. Don't want to do it. And this is the video, basically the same thing, I'm trying to replicate it, um, taking some shot, put steel ball in, sh shoot it, I don't actually shoot it, but I fake shoot it, I tend to fall down from getting hit, and that's basically how you do it. You want to get a slingshot JPEG, or picture I mean, and this is a picture of a bunch of slingshot ammo, marble, steel ball. Red ball, don't know what that is, rock and hexa. So I'm gonna use this thing using the other brush. I wanna use the pen tool. I'm gonna mask this out and use this. So start masking it out. And you don't have to be super good, but we're gonna put motion blur on it. Controls that if you make a mistake. And there we go. So that's our studio. And then we're going to take this and put that over. So it's here. Now we're going to scrub through our video to where we shoot the same shot. Taking it. Right here, take it and it's shot. Don't want to add another mask. Tap this, tap the selection tool, put this, and put this over here, right there. And put this arrow, bump those down, transform, and let's go to scale and keyframe the scale. And let's go down as small as this. It goes this Let's see how that looks. That's a little right about uh should do it. Put back and move it to this side. Controls are just like that. And then let's go a few frames forward and make this big. Keep doing that. Make this bigger. So that big. And then we want to take this and put that to that's probably how. I want that, and it goes bigger. So now, yeah. it's this big. Take, go down, and go to position. Now keyframe that. So hit the stopwatch, and go to this side, 
and get that there in the next frame. Shoot it at the door. And then yeah. And then next frame go back. Then next frame. Oh, don't wanna do that. Next frame. Next frame. Next frame. And keep key framing it. I think that's too much. I'm not where you shoot, where I shoot it. Shut it. Next frame. Oh, why don't you think? Going. And I'm going to set it right here. Maybe. Next frame. Going to do that again. frame and shoot it through and it goes off frame. So this is how it should look. And then it hits me. And put that down. It's not actually there. Oh, nope. Don't do that. Shift this. Side. Oh, don't do that either. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's how you want it. Keep my frame. So, Control Shift D to cut it. Split. Now, this is the motion blur. Enable motion motion blur for all layers with motion blur switch on set or set. Yeah. And press the motion blur for this. And I'll be good. And this is how it looks like now. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But still, that shouldn't be there. So, Control Shift D. Oh, wrong one. First tutorial, guys. And I'm simply that. Control Shift D. Oh, 
start with three. There we go. Okay, so now we got this. Position or scale should be a little bit smaller when it's up here. So let's scale this down. This big one goes there. Let's watch that. Oops. Okay, what's that? Oh, it's probably a light change. So now it's just shredded. Okay, for that, that's done. Now, we're going to go to other one. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take this off. We're going to go to here and actually hit the door with the uh, the ball bearing. Let's see a little so that I can get the sound of it hitting. What did I do? What do I do? Okay. 
Okay guys, so I just came back from my break and um, I added a few more keyframes to this. So here's how it looks like. I made it more like an arc and coming back to be more than like coming straight at me. Because it's a slingshot, it arcs, it's not like a bullet coming out of the gun. So that's what I did, and I cut off the part where I turned it to the So here's a, here's a preview of this. It could be better. Uh, my reaction time is really bad. I just do like I just shoot it, and I just, while I shoot it, I fall down, and that just makes it even worse because I'm not actually getting hit by it. So make sure your hit is on camera to make it look real and to sell it. And it's just a tutorial, so I mean, I'm not actually making a big movie. Not like the ones I post on the YouTube channel usually. So it's a super fast, easy tutorial. Um, hopefully you won't spouse all this. So thank you for making your days better with your crazy slingshot sh shenanigans, but we love it, yeah, Good. and uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and reshare this video as many times as you like, because you'd probably be the best person in the world if you did that, and uh, thanks, and bye bye. I'm going to use the slingshot that York Sprout taught me how to build, the Rambone, and the Steel Ball. I'm going to shoot it at that door.